This fat file is on the Atlantic salmon. The British record means 64 pounds, caught by Georgina Ballantyne in 1922. Salmon of this size are almost unheard of now, more commonly around the 10 to 20 pound mark, and lengths of 30 inches. Often referred to as the king of fishes, salmon have one of the best known life cycles. Small salmon called smolts turn silver and develop a larger eye suited to marine life and slowly make their way down to the sea. They'll spend two, three, sometimes four years at sea before returning to their natal river, much bigger, and as they enter fresh water, lose the silver colour and turn a fantastic pastel of autumnal colours. Males develop a hooked jaw, known as a kipe, to fight off rivals. The females dig a red, a kind of fish nest, and the male will shake next to her to encourage breeding. Once the eggs are fertilised, they are covered in the gravel until they turn into alvins, and then leave the red as par. In areas with lots of food, par will only spend a year in the river, like in chalk streams, whereas rivers with less food, such as highland burns, they may spend three years as par there. They differ from sea trout in a few ways, with the salmon's head being more pointed, a slender and streamlined body, relatively few spots, and a forked tail, while sea trout are the opposite, with a thick-set body, rounded head, lots of spots, and a convex tail. Salmon need clean, healthy river systems to thrive, ideally with few barriers to migration. Although often associated with Scotland in Britain, they are found as far south as Cornwall, in Europe, there are some landlocked populations also. Unlike Pacific salmon, Atlantic salmon can repeat spawn, mostly females, which will return to sea after spawning. The scientific name, Salmosolar, means the leaper, referring to its incredible habit of leaping over obstacles. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And why not check out our other fat files here? Until next time, cheers.